Okay, let's talk about grades because I got real bad grades in college. I almost got put on academic probation twice. I think it was my freshman year. I got a 2.1 GPA. Sheesh. But I was still able to find some form of success with my career. I did some internships throughout college and now I am working a full-time job as a software engineer. So hopefully I am doing okay despite my grades. And yeah, here's what I've learned. Quick disclaimer though, everything that I'm about to share comes from the perspective of a US citizen studying in the US. So first, some context, I guess. I went to a public high school in the Midwest. Then I went to CMU for undergrad, where it felt like literally every single person was smarter than me. My freshman roommate, who was in the College of Fine Arts, was better at math and science than me, even though I was going to CMU as a physics major. It definitely felt like while I was a freshman and a little bit while I was a sophomore, that every single person was just way better than me academically and no matter how hard i tried i couldn't catch up to them so obviously i confronted the problem by completely avoiding it i ended up just not going to a lot of my classes <laughs> i ended up spending a lot of my time outside of classes working on things that i actually found fun and useful i did a lot of clubs I did research and I also participated in a lot of hackathons. Quick aside, if you don't know what a hackathon is, it is a timed event, usually 24 to 48 hours, where you team up with a few other people to come up with a idea for a new product. Through these things, I not only learned a lot of skills and gained a lot of experience, but I also made a lot of connections and a lot of friends. One of the clubs that I sunk a lot of time into was theater. And if you're a theater kid in high school or college, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I did technical theater, so I was a stage manager and also occasionally a production manager. Through theater, I learned a lot about how to write really good and concise emails and also project management because you're always planning events across like 50 people's calendars, stuff like that. And then with research, first of all, I think that even if you have a little bit of interest in doing research, you should definitely give it a try. It's really hard to find an opportunity where you get to read a bunch of technical literature about your field. But through my personal research experience, I had to read a bunch of technical papers. I had to read a bunch of code and I also had to write a bunch of code and learn version control because there are are a lot of people you have to collaborate with and obviously you can't just like email code to each other. And with hackathons, again, just learning a lot more skills and getting a lot more experience with actually building stuff with code and learning new technologies. So was skipping all my classes and doing all this stuff actually worth it for me? Personally, I felt like allocating my time outside of my courses and putting them into, you know, theater research and hackathons was actually useful because a lot of the skills and experience that I gained, I actually use in my career today. And they also helped me get internships back when I was still in college. I think that wherever you spend your time and put in deliberate practice and effort, you're going to learn a lot. So I think the question just comes down to what exactly is your goal? If your goal is tied to academic performance, then definitely spend your time with that. And if your goals are not really tied to academics, then put your time elsewhere. So for example, if you're planning on going to grad school, then obviously you have to maintain good grades. But remember that with grad school, good grades is really only a way to get your foot in the door. You still need to have good letters of recommendation. You probably need to have research experience and you got to take the GRE. That's just what it is. But on the other hand, if you're primarily looking to go into industry, then literally no one gives a shit about your grades. Your skills and experience are infinitely more important than having a big number on your transcript or your resume. Having the ability to write good quality code is a lot more important. But I guess for whiteboard interviews, you will need to be good at your data structures and algorithms. Usually a freshman or sophomore level data structures and algorithms course is enough to know all of the basics. And then from there, it's just a shit ton of leak code grinding, which really sucks, but you gotta do it, I guess. So ultimately, how important do I think grades are? Well, I guess, it really depends on your goals. I think what's most important is figuring out the broad direction that you actually want to head in. That could be doing classes, clubs, research, or streaming or YouTube, like what a lot of my friends have done. You know, obviously, if you're in college, it's difficult to be certain of what it is that you actually want to do with your career. But in that case, I think it's absolutely okay to take some time to just 
try out everything and experiment and see what it is that actually excites you. If you're able to even have a hint of what it is that you want to do, then allocate time towards learning the skills and getting the experience towards those goals and be willing to take some time away from other things. It's impossible to just say, well, I'm just gonna be good at everything. Okay, I mean, there are people like that and I'm not one of those people. I'm not saying just skip your classes and do nothing, sleep in every single day. Instead, you should skip your classes and invest your time somewhere else. Okay, don't 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 skip too many of your classes. You're, you're probably still paying tuition, so you wanna get your money's worth. And just be careful not to get caught up in letting your academic performance become a proxy for what you think of as success. Am I even successful? I don't know, I guess. I have a job. I do think that I do some pretty interesting stuff with math on the job. I primarily work on machine learning compilers. If you're interested in the day-to-day -day of my job, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to share some of the details. Okay, whoops, back to grades. Grades are this easy whole number to look at for judging your performance or your aptitude. Looking at your grades is so easy and doesn't require any critical thinking to see whether or not you're doing well or poorly. That's kind of what I did in the beginning of my undergraduate career. And I definitely stressed out a lot about the fact that, oh, I'm not gonna be successful or, oh man, no matter what I try, I can't seem to become smarter, so to speak. And yeah, in a sense, your ability to perform well in classes and being quote unquote smart are correlated somewhat. Being able to absorb a lot of information from your lectures and your homeworks is an important skill to have. But if you think that some class material is not very interesting, it's only going to be a waste of time, then don't waste your time. I will say though that it's much easier to really get into the rhythm of learning things from your professor when you get into the upper level electives because once you get to those classes you can really dive deep into the specific topics that you find interesting. My grades definitely improved a lot uh, my senior year because I was actually taking classes that I enjoyed. I got a 4.0 like one semester but that's a story for another time. But yeah everything that I've been rambling on about up till now really boils down to figure out what it is that you want to dedicate your time to and dedicate your time there. And don't be afraid to pull time away from other things in order to actually allocate the time that you want. Okay, okay, enough of my rambling, let's wrap it up here. If you're interested in what it's like being a new grad software engineer and you're not tired of me yet, uh, you can check out my previous video up here where you can chill with me while I work from home. And if you like the style of video where I just talk about my experiences and share some of my opinions, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I definitely have more things that I think would be fun to share with you guys. And of course, if you like this video, you should like and subscribe because I like seeing numbers go up. Okay, well, I don't exactly have a creative outro planned, uh, nor will I have one for a while probably. So I guess that's it from me. Bye-bye.